Get me? To whom our fathers Only not God have... deserves. That's right. All of your heart. That's right. And this is where many of you churchgoers have fell away. Yeah. You loved your bishop with all of your heart. All your heart. And then when bishop died, you went right back smoking. That's right. Right back dancing. That's right. Right back gambling. Right back partying. Right back in that adulterous relationship. Yeah. Right back living together when, uh, with that woman that's not your wife. That's and right. that man that's not your husband. Yes. Because the life or the death of the preacher should not determine how you live in God's eyes. That's right. It is your commitment and your obligation to God himself which should determine how you live in God's eyes. That's right. Go ahead, man. Hear me good. To whom our fathers would not obey. I want to take my time and suck you a little. Amen. To whom our fathers would not obey but thrust them from us. And in their hearts. And in their hearts. Turn back again. Back again into Egypt. Into Egypt. What else? Saying unto Aaron. They said to Aaron. Make us God. Make us God. To go before us. We don't want the God of heaven. That's right. We don't want the God of heaven no more. That's right. Make us gods to go before us. Why? For as for this Moses. Because of the preacher. Which brought us out of the, the land of Egypt. The preacher whom God sent to bring us out of bondage. We want not what has become of him. We don't know what happened to him and they didn't care. And they made a calf in those days. That's what the churches have done today. That's right. That's right. The calf today is the prosperity plan. Yeah. The calf today is church mockery. That's right. The calf today is playing religion. That's right. Making a calf in those days simply means they made something else to wish up. That's it. And That's Jesus right. come along and say they wish up they know not what. And they made a calf in those days. Yes. And offered sacrifice unto the idol. And they offered sacrifice to idols. And rejoiced in the works of their own hands. The world is having a big time. A big time. Big time, too blind by the devil. Oh, yes. To realize that this is the message for the last, hallelujah, hallelujah. for the last days now. That's right. That's right. God is calling for everything that has backslid. Yes. Come back to him. Back to him. While you still can. That's right. That's right. Because you don't have long while you're out there. That's right. Thank God the death angel. He's up on your heels and you're having too much fun to even recognize him. That's true. Do you hear what the Bible says in Ecclesiasticus? Give chapter and verse. Now back in Ecclesiasticus chapter 15 and verse 11. Parliament. Say not thou it is through the Lord that I fell away. Do you hear this? Amen. Say not thou. It is through the Lord. It's through God. That I fell away. I fell away. For thou oughtest not to do the things that he hateth. You see, when you start doing the things that God hates, that will start to pull you away from God if you keep doing it long enough. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10 and verse 12. Get this. The beginning of pride. Listen. The beginning of yeah. pride. Listen, my viewers and you that are here. In the book of Ecclesiastes, the beginning, chapter 10 and verse 12. The beginning of, of pride, pride is when one departeth from God. The beginning of pride. Hmm. The beginning. The beginning of pride. Of pride. Is when one departs from God. one leave God. And his heart. Because someone said, well, how is that pride, Pastor Jennings? Because it takes humility to stay with God. That's right. It takes humility to stay with God. That's right. Because the Holy Ghost is the spirit of humility. That's right. And it's not an exalted spirit. No. But it will humble you. Make you more humble than you ever was. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now the question is, if the beginning of pride is what? The beginning of pride is the when beginning one departed. of pride is when one departed from God. That was manifest in heaven. That's right. Because the first one 
that departed from God was Lucifer, Lucifer. and he declared his pride. His pride. That's Let's right. read his pride in the book of Isaiah. Now in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 12. Show you how proud he become. You know when you're proud, proud. your conduct changed. That's your right. Your outlook on God changed. That's right. You become arrogant and self-righteous and self-centered until the Bible says the fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. No God. That's Amen. Right. His heart said that. That's right. Go ahead, man. With any preacher, hear me, hear me, hear me, good youth church fakers. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. When the preacher wants you to look at him yeah. more than look at God, yeah. pride right. is in him. That's right. That's when right. you hear people testifying about some preacher, Oh, if it wasn't from that preacher, I don't know what I would be. That's pride. That's arrogance coming out of your mouth. Oh, yes. Because if it wasn't from God, where would the preacher be? That's right. No man deserves the credit that God deserves. That's right. No man taketh this honor to himself. To himself. Are oh, you listening to what I'm telling you? Isaiah chapter 14 and at verse 12. That's what? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Look at the pride. Listen right. at this. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the How ground which did speak down the to nations? the ground which did weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart. What? Thou hast said in thine heart. In thine heart. Amen. Where did that pride come from? In thine heart. Thou have said, for thou hast said in thine heart, in thine heart, I will, I will ascend into heaven. Oh, I'm going to ascend into heaven. I will, I will exalt my throne above I'm the stars to, of God. I'm going to take my authority. That's right. I'm, that's what throne means. Throne. I'm going to exalt my authority above the stars of God, above the other angels. I will, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. I'm going to sit upon the mount of the congregation. In the sides of the north. In the sides of the north. I will, I will ascend above ascend the heights of the clouds. Above the heights of the cloud. And what's my next move? I will, I will be like the Most High. Be like God. That's it. That's what he said in his heart. All of it. That's right. Came from his heart. From his heart. Which triggered war. That's right. That's right. And that same spirit mm. that was in heaven yeah. and was put out came to the earth and is in man today. That's right. His arrogance. That's right. Too proud right. to humble himself. Oh, Got yeah. too much money. Oh, yes. Tell us though, because he got so much money and live in a mansion and got his own plane and got a yacht, he don't need God don't need, now. That's right. Because he or she got a celebrity status and got all these gold plaques on the wall. I don't need God now. I'm too rich. That's right. They serve God, but you are living fool. It's a living fool. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, 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 that's Back in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10 and verse 12. That's what? The beginning of pride. The beginning of pride. Is when one departeth from God. Is when man leave God. And look how proud and arrogant. They become more boastful in their sins. Yes, that's true. They flaunt their sins that's right. now. That's they, right. they want everybody to know I'm not in church. I'm, I'm right. not serving God now. They brag about brag it. Brag about it. That's right. I remember some years ago, my oldest brother uh, told me he was in the club and he said everybody he saw used to be church people he knew. Lord. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Yeah. And he said he took his time and went to each one and made mockery of them. Mm. He said, why don't you speak in tongue now? He said, let me see y'all shout now. He said, he went to one and said, you done shouted so long in church, you can't even get your dance steps right. Amen. He said, there ain't no dance, you shouting. Amen. He said, you're out of step, okay. you shouting. Amen. Backslider, you can smoke and drink and gamble and party, and the moment you get in trouble, oh, Lord, help me. Yeah. 
Matthew 7, 21. Matthew 7, 21. Why you call on God and you don't want to obey him? That's right. Not that Why, here. That's Why right. don't you call on the one who you're serving yeah. and say, oh, Satan, help me. Oh, yeah. Not even the sinner want to call on the devil. No. All right, follow me in the scriptures here. St. Matthew chapter 7, we're starting at verse 21. Listen at Jesus teaching. Not everyone that saith unto me, oh, Lord, Lord. Not everyone that saith to me, Lord, Lord. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. It's going to be saved. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So walking around saying, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord, that ain't enough. No. You can yell Jesus if you're on the respirator and only got 15 minutes to live. That's right. That's not enough. That's right. Jesus made it plain here. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, not shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, is going to get into the kingdom of heaven. What do Jesus want? But he that doeth the will of my Father. He wants you to obey. Which is in heaven. That's it. Why? Many will say to me in that day. Many. Glory to Many. God. Glory to God. Many will say to me in that day. Many will say to me in that day. Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Have we not prophesied in thy name? I want you false prophets out there. Uh, prophesying houses and cars That's to right. people. Going around telling people, go to your neighbor's house and touch it. <laughs> That's right. Touch the neighbor's house and touch the neighbor's cars yeah. and go to a car dealers and put your hands on cars and then somebody else with keys drive away with it. That's right. <laughs> you bunch of fake Christian fools. <laughs> Amen. Get me what I'm telling you now. Many will say to me in that day. Many. 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 That's true. And you think going to church will save you. Mm. You can go to church, die in church, let them funeralize you in church. That's right. If you don't obey what the Bible says, you're going to go from that casket right before the judgment seat of God when the time comes, yeah. and he's going to usher you into an everlasting hell. That's right. That's right. Glory to God, we got something to obey here. That's right. What is it? Many will say to me in that day. Many. Oh, they got the preacher. They got the apostles, the bishops, the elders, the imams, the rabbis, the yeah. monks. They got everybody. Many will say to me in Glory that day. God, you to go to the wall and read the Torah and rock back and forth, back and That's forth. Right. Amen. You can go to Mecca and march around a big square. But when the great God Hallelujah. of heaven appear in the heaven. That's right. If you haven't obeyed God, he's going to dump you in an everlasting hell. That's right. Do you hear the word talking? Many will say to me in that day. Many. Many. Mm. Many. I meet rich people so many times I can't count. Yeah. And they think there's so much. I don't, listen, I wouldn't care if you wear alligator shoes, the real alligator itself. <laughs> Somehow or another, you stepped into a real alligator. Stepped and it's still it. alive while it's on your foot. Amen. Amen. Got a sting, never mind a snakeskin belt. You got a whole anaconda wrapped around your waist. My Lord. Amen. Amen. Never mind the fox skin. You actually got the fox. The fox. And he's howling, laying across your shoulders. Amen. I don't care. No. When you die without obeying the living God your body rich man rich woman gonna be in the dust like the person who don't have a penny that's right you celebrities that are watching they're dying oh yes your recording artists are dying amen amen you got your Emmy you got your Oscars you got your global award yeah. but none of those awards keeping you alive that's right you're dying that's right you got a star on the walk of fame yeah. but that won't give you a star in God's kingdom that's right you're going to God yeah you're dying that's right that's right what up God says how do the wise man die as the fool it died just like the fool that's right all right son many will say to me many. in that day Will say to me in that day, Lord, 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 have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. Oh, uh, look at the preachers running around running and laying hands on folk and screaming and hollering and having fake healing meetings. That's right. Fake healing me. Oh, yes, I believe God is a healer. Oh, yeah. But if God is a healer, in which he is, you ain't got to put on. No. 
If it's God will to hear you, hear, hear you. If not, you are die sick. <laughs> that's right. Well, that settles that argument. That settles that. If he don't hear you, he's still God. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Come on, son. And in thy name have cast out devils. In thy name. Amen. Have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Many wonderful works. And then, and will then I... the Lord, after you bring after all of your resume. <laughs> That's right. All your resume. After you lay all that talk to God and God evaluate it. That's right. He going to come back and this is what the Lord going to say. And then will I profess unto them. What? I never knew you. I don't know you. I never knew you. No one said, Pastor Jennings, how can God know all things and then tell somebody he don't know them? Mm -hmm. Saying that he don't know you mean he don't even recognize your existence on earth. That's right. Because you were so stubborn and so hard-headed and so rebellious and you had the chance to do his will and you was too proud to do it wow. and you reject him now, right. he gonna make you reap what you sow. That's you right. reject him now, he gonna reject you later. That's right. You act like you don't know him now, he gonna come along and don't know you later. That's right. That's What's right. good for the goose is good for the gander. That's right. And, and then will I profess unto them. Then will I profess unto them. God said, I'm going talking, brother. Ain't hmm. nobody can talk like God talk. Oh, no. Then will I profess unto them. Unto them. I never knew you. Glory to Hallelujah. God. I never knew you. Depart from me. Get away from me. Ye that work iniquity. You sinner. That's right. But That's look right. at what they brought to God about their works. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, 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 have we not prophesied in thy name? Prophesied. And in thy name have cast out, cast devils, out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Done a lot of works. And then will I profess Then will I profess? Them, I never knew you. I don't know you. Depart from me. What do he call their works? Ye that work iniquity. Oh, Lord. 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 In God eyes, you're not doing nothing but performing acts of sin. That's it. That's because right. of your refusal to do God's will. That's right. Read some more of that. Therefore, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, whosoever, whosoever, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hear these, these sayings of mine, sayings of mine, and do with them. Do with them. That's it. You're going to church. Don't weigh on the back of a camel. Yeah. This is why the Old Testament says obedience. That's right. It's better than sacrifice. Amen. Amen. You can go to church, go to mosque, go to synagogue. It ain't worth a dime. No. If you don't obey God, That's right. you still going to be in a grave without God, getting ready for judgment by God. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Therefore, whosoever heareth whosoever, these sayings of mine. Thank God, hear these sayings of mine. And do with them. And do them. I will liken him unto a wise man. Oh, you wise if you do what God said. That's right. You're wise. Doesn't matter what your wife or your husband wants you to do. If it's not what God said, you're not wise if you do it. You a fool. That's right. But you're wise That's right. if you do what God says. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine. Notice. Who, whosoever hear these sayings of mine, of mine, hear the sayings of mine, hear God's sayings, and do with them, and act upon them. I will liken him unto a wise man. I don't care how you foolish you look in the eyes of people. Right. I look foolish in the eyes of millions. That's right. Because I'm determined to do what God says. That's right. So in the eyes of people, I look foolish. I don't care how I look in the eyes of people. No. If your eye offend you, pluck it out. <laughs> That's right. I don't care how I look in nobody's eyes. That's right. Do you hear this? Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings whosoever of God. Whoever hear these sayings of God. And do it And them, perform them. I will liken him unto a wise man. I'm going, in God's eyes, he's wise. Wise. Why? Which built his house upon a rock. Did you hear that? Amen. Hallelujah. You know, a lot of folks say, I want a house built from the ground. And they go and look at some of these new developments and... They don't know nothing about building. Right. They go to many of these new developments and they walk into the houses that got them staged already <laughs> with furniture and high vaulted ceilings and wood beams going across the ceilings and they look at, oh my Lord, ooh, look how beautiful. And the man come along and says, very affordable. 
very mm -hmm. affordable. It's starting as low as $150,000. That's all. That's all. The one that looking at the house don't know what kind of dirt is built on. That's right. Don't know nothing about. Don't know nothing about the soil got to be tested. Yeah. Don't know whether the soil is thick or too loose, which give your foundation stable or flexible foundation. That's right. Huh? That's right. Don't know whether in three years you're gonna have cracks running through your walls because your house is sinking into the ground. Yeah. Got you thinking you're going to hell too early. <laughs> Yeah? That's right. They get captivated by the beauty of the house. By the beauty of it. Are you getting the old troublemaker? Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of God. Amen. Hear these sayings, the of, sayings God, of God and do with them. And obey them. I will liken him unto a wise man. I don't care how hard his sayings are. Amen. Strive to obey him. That's it. That's right. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what you got to endure as a result of obeying them. Endure and obey. That's it. That's right. You're going to lose a whole lot. Oh, yes. But if you lose it as a result of obeying God, That's right. uh, you didn't need it no way. That's right. Because it is in nothing in this life you lose as a result of obeying God that you that God cannot replace. That's right. And I don't care what it is, and I don't care who it is. That's right. Get me. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine whosoever and doeth hear them, these sayings of mine and do them, I will liken him unto a wise man. What does the wise man do, Williams? Which built his house upon a rock. He built his house on a solid foundation. And the rain descended. Rain come. And the floods came. Flood come. And the winds blew. The winds blow. And beat upon that house. The elements that the Bible speaks of mm -hmm. affects the house in different ways. That's right. Read the elements again. And the rain descended. Oh. Uh, rain. Water can really tear up a property. Oh, yeah. What else? And the floods came. When that water started building up, it can move the property off its foundation. And the winds blew. <laughs> it can take the roof off. That's right. And beat upon that it house. Beat on the house until what? And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Why didn't the house fall? And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. What's beating on you? That's it. Preach it. Don't you know the house is your body? That's right. What if God said, if this earthly house of this tabernacle dissolve, dissolve, I have another building not made with hands, but eternal in the heavens? That's it. What's beating on your house? What's, that's that's causing you now to leave God. Preach it, brother. Preach it. Is it water damage up here? That's it. Do you have a leak in your attic? Go ahead. Go ahead. One scripture said, I saw my enemies as a flood. That's right. Go ahead, man. Is it a whole lot of people and things coming your direction one time as moving you from the foundation that God laid? That's it. Hallelujah. How strong mm. is your foundation? That's it. Hallelujah. Glory to That's God. That's right. How strong is it? Amen. You're holding on to your husband. You're holding on to your wife. You better hold on to God. That's right. Something come, wash your wife away. Wash your husband away and wash them right out there in the world. Oh, yes. But if I got God as my foundation. That's it. That's it. Founded upon what? For it was founded upon a rock. Who is the rock? Give me the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 32. We'll start at verse 3. And after you get Deuteronomy, give me Corinthians. Amen. Let's see who's the rock that follow them. In because Deut there's only one rock. That's right. Hear me good. I said there's only one rock. That's right. And I ain't talking about Rocky Mount either. <laughs> no, no. Hear this. Deuteronomy chapter 32, we'll start at verse 3. Follow me in the Bible. Because I will publish the name of the Lord. Uh, I will publish the Lord's name. Ascribe ye greatness Ascribe unto our God. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock. God is the rock. He is the rock. His work is perfect. His work. 
is complete. Give me the New Testament. Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. I'll be in the Bible. I will start at verse 4. That's what? And did all drink the same spiritual drink. They all drank the same spiritual drink. Well, they drank of that they spiritual drank rock. of that spiritual rock. That followed them. Who was that rock? And that rock was Christ. Hallelujah. He is the rock. That's right. God is the rock. God is the and rock. And there's only one rock. That's right. And when the Bible says the elements came in so many words and beat upon beat that upon house, house and the house fell not For it was because founded it was founded upon a rock. God was the foundation. That's it. That's it. That's right. Go ahead. Man. That's why the Bible speaks plain. Go ahead. Except Right. The Lord build, the, build house. the house. Build the house. That's it. You got to have the rock as your foundation. That's right. Upon this rock. This rock. I'll build. Go ahead, Go ahead man. My church. That's right. Upon this rock. Hallelujah. Upon this rock. This rock. Upon God. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. That's why the gates of hell can never prevail against God, church, because it's founded upon a rock. Founded upon a rock. Hallelujah. Anything and everything can come up against God's church. That's right. Amen. But the, you can never take it over. Glory no, to God. no. Never. That's right. You'll never win. That's right. Because it's founded upon a rock. Founded upon a rock. And the rain descended. Rain descended. And the floods came. And the winds blew. Many people backslide because they don't have no foundation. That's right. They was just coming to church. That's right. For years. But never got on the foundation. Yeah. That's right. Never. Never. Through the years. Become sound. That's right. Rooted. Grounded. In the church. That's it. That's right. When you never get rooted mm -hmm. and grind, I don't care how much you sing and jump and shout, striving to live holy is that you may one day become rooted, rooted, grounded, settled. settled. You mean to tell me you have the Holy Ghost 30 years and you ain't sound in the church yet? That's right. The slightest trivial junk move you, you can't fast, you can't pray, then where's your foundation? That's right. What in the world you been doing all these years? That's right. Go ahead, man. Hear me, hear me good. And the rain descended and the floods came. Rain descend. Amen. Floods came. Hallelujah. And the winds Glory blew and God. beat upon that winds house. Winds blew. Thank God. God and beat upon it that beat house. on the house and it fell not beat on it beat upon that house and the house didn't fall for it was founded upon a rock because it had the rock as the foundation and everyone that heareth these sayings everyone of mine everyone that hear these sayings of mine and do with them not and don't obey them they just come to church be on the choir and enjoy the song be on auxiliaries but they ain't paying bible instructions no mind, no mind. and don't respect leadership don't right. obey leadership don't follow leadership and then running around the church <laughs> that's right Running around the church. Back. And weaker than a newborn puppy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Been in church I don't know how many years. That's right. And still get bothered when a brother come to church or a sister come to church. Oh, out of sight, out of mind. You ain't got no foundation. You's a church going fool. Amen. You're just wasting time. Amen. There come a time in God, you got to have a foundation. That's right. You got to be settled in settled. God. That's it. Jesus said, I am in the Father and the Father's in you. Yeah. What's in you? And what are you in? That's right. Well, I'm in the Word. What do you mean? Because sinners are in the Word. Yeah. In fact, everybody on the planet is in the Word. That's right. What do you mean? All the deeds we ever done yeah. is in the Word. It's in the Word. But that don't mean the word is in you. That's right. That's right. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back to Bible. Go ahead, man. 
Many of you left God because you've been around church for years, and that's all. That's you all. never got a foundation. That's right. Huh? That's right. Been around church singing, jumping, shouting, shouting. cooking, selling pies, <laughs> yams, making bowls of potato salad, that's and right. ain't never got a foundation. That's right. Up in the pulpit preaching, preaching five, ten, fifteen years, and then take days off and go church hopping. That's right. Preachers go roaming from church to church to church. Why? That's right. Never got a foundation. Amen. Go ahead, man. Never. Never. Now, sixties and seventies, and do the same thing, just roaming yeah. from church. The church, the church, listening to every piece of trash right. that comes from the pulpit, right. going along to get along. That's right. How can I do that? Because I don't have a foundation. No foundation. That's right. Glory to God, when I got a foundation, I become steadfast. That's right. That's right. When I was a child, I heard a song. They used to sing uh, something about I, I like I like a tree planted yes. by the water. Mm -hmm. I shall not be moved. Yeah. I shall not. I shall not be moved like a tree, a tree. Planted, planted by the water. By the water. I shall not be moved. That's right. You get a tree that's deeply rooted and got age on it. Oh yes. Sometime a strong wind came, it makes that tree lean all the way. That's right. All the way. All the way. And before you know it, the tree's springing right back up. That's right. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. What makes that tree lean over so far Hallelujah. and come back up? It depends how deep how those deep. roots are. That's right. How deep is your roots in God? Amen. Yes, sir. You religious hopping and church hopping and going after every false prophet under the sun. Yeah. You don't have no deep roots. No. You're shallow. Oh, yes. Anything will come root you up. That's right. That's right. Speak in tongue one day. No woman preaches. Years later, somebody coming to Revelation. Yeah. Women can preach. Now you're speaking in tongue with that. With that. Speak in tongue. One God. Somebody come more than one God. Speaking in tongue and shaking off that. That's right. Don't know what you don't know what spirit you're of. No. Because the Holy Ghost don't deal with you off truth and lie. No, no. That's confusion. That's right. And the Lord is not the author of, of confusion, confusion, but peace as in all the churches. That's right. What did he say? And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine. Everyone that hear the Lord saying. And doeth them not. And don't do them. Shall be likened unto a foolish man. Oh, uh, God. What is it? A foolish man. And the Bible says God have no pleasure in fools. In fools. That's right. God gone like in him unto a foolish man unto a foolish man which built his house upon the same can you imagine that mm. that's why a lot of these new developments the houses are leaning 45 degree amen they look at paid all that money for a house and he or she wake up one morning and walking down the hallway this way <laughs> amen when I go look at property the first thing I do I ignore the beauty yeah. Go to the basement. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I take a marble mm. or a round steel pellet, set it on a counter or set it on the floor. Mm. See what direction it goes. I look at the frame of the exterior windows, see if there's any shifting. Right. I look at the entire opening of the doors. Mm. I don't look at the beauty of the doors. I'm looking at the whole frame. Right. Seeing which one is leaning left 
Green. All right, I'm looking at the cracks and see is there any in the steps and looking at the cracks that's in the wall and seeing what direction is going. How many centimeters? How many? How deep is it? Go ahead, and man. where is the start and where is the ending? And see is the building shifting left or right? Go ahead. Preacher. That way I can determine whether it's worth the, worth the investment. Right. I don't care how cheap it is. I don't care how cheap it is. That's right. It can be a cheap mess. Yeah. It can be a cheap money pit. Oh, yes. How many cracks is in your foundation? Mm. Or do you even have a foundation so it can be cracked? That's right. That's good, Pastor. That's good. That's right. Holy Ghost, 30, 40 some years? Yeah. Not sound yet? Not sound. Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Hear me good. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man. You know, when they build these new houses today, they build them quick. Mm -hmm. They don't use all real wood. Right. Press wood. I call it corkboard. <laughs> Years ago, when they built the frame of a roof, they used a full two by four. Mm -hmm. Now they use half of that. Mm. And if the house got a basement years ago, they would sometimes use cement and stone. Amen. Now on the new developments, if they pull cement, if they got a basement, the cement is only about yay thick. Amen. Only a few inches of thickness. Lord. Foundation, only but yay thick. My Lord. And then they put a price on it, $500,000. Because they know the young people don't know. They're just looking at it. Oh. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Once they put their wood frame up, they either cover it with brick, stone, or vinyl siding. Mm. But underneath that vinyl siding, brick, stone is nothing but wood, black top paper, mm. or either wood and a sheet of plastic, mm. and not a full three inch brick. Then many times they use half of that, inch and a half. Mm. Old school houses, the brick was solid. Right. Now they use an inch and a half hollow brick. My Lord. That way when it rains, water seep through the brick and then deteriorate and fall off the house. Right. That's right. Wow. Amen. Amen. And then when that husband and wife get in bed, She's saying, are you, are, is, 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 you, you leaning on your, you leaning on my side too much. <laughs> Moment they get in bed, somehow or another, he end up rolling all the <laughs> way over to her side. And she keep wondering, why you keep coming over here? <laughs> That's House right. shifted. House is shifted. I got him rolling like a taco. <laughs> That's right. Thank God things are coming up against the people today and it's going to come. Oh, yes. Got them rolling right out of church. That's right. Leaving God, Leaving but God. don't want God to leave them. That's right. That's why you out there, you know you're begging God, Lord, please don't cut me off out here. Yeah. Lord, please let me make it back to you. Oh, yeah. You're dancing, smoking, drinking, and begging God, Man. let me make it back to you. That's right. You That's want right. God to let you make it back. Yeah. But yet at the time you ask, you're not ready to come back um, until something drastic happens. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old man? And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not That's what? shall be likened unto a foolish man. Let me tell you something. If you make it back, you're you ain't lucky. No. Anyone that go out there and God bless them to make it back, back. you are you're so blessed. Lord, I, I wonder, do the backslider even know how blessed he and she is? That's right. To make it back to God. That's right. Thank God, because if he cut me off while I mend my sins Amen. and I have the teaching of holiness in me, yeah. then I will suffer more than the one that never heard. That's right. 
Is that Bible? Give me the book of Peter. Second Peter chapter 2, we'll start at verse 20. Notice the language of the Bible. For if after they have escaped, if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, God, they have escaped the world's pollution through the, through knowledge, the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Wait Christ. Wait a minute. What delivered them from the world? Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's why I thank God for the truth of God as a program loaded with knowledge. Loaded. Amen. Get in behind you. Make, hallelujah. Make you run for your life. That's right. What did he say? For if after they have escaped the pollutions of if the after, world. after, thank God, they have escaped the world's madness. Through the knowledge, knowledge of the Lord and Savior give you Jesus freedom. Christ. Knowledge. knowledge. Knowledge give you freedom. That's right. Ignorance is the worst form of bondage. That's right. And when you are ignorant of God, brother, mm. you are truly in bondage. That's right. Hear me now. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, uh -huh. through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, what is it? they are again entangled therein. They are again, again. entangled therein. What and, you mean again? Mm -hmm. They got caught right back in the same thing they used to be in years ago. And overcome. And that thing overtook them and helped them hostage. The latter end. Your last end. Is worse. Shall be worse with, with you. Than the beginning. Than the beginning. For it had been better for them. Uh-oh. Amen. Here, yeah, here, yeah, look at what God is saying to you. For it had been better for God them. God said it's better for you. Not to have known the way of it's righteousness. It's better you never even known what was right than to have known it. To turn from the holy turn commandment. from his holy order. Delivered unto them. Delivered unto them. But it is but happening it unto them according, according to, to the, the true proverb. proverb. The dog what is do turned. God call the backslider? The dog. What? The dog is turned. To his own vomit again. You see, when you was walking with God, first he called you a sheep. Sheep. He said, my sheep will hear my voice. Voice. And a stranger, you will not follow. Not follow. But when you turn from God, you get demoted from a sheep. The dog is turned. In other words, you are demoted from a sheep because the sheep is a sacrifice. That's right. And he said, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. But when you backslide, you're not giving God a sacrifice. Right. So now you take on the nature of an unclean animal and God don't want uncleanness sacrificed to him. That's right. That's right. But it has happened unto them. That means you're not fit. Not fit. To offer him service. That's right. Because now you got the dirty nature of a dog. That's right. That's right. Not fit. Not fit. Mm. Over there, God, I want to soak you good. But it has happened unto them. And you, 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 your whole character changed. That's right. That's From right. sheep, one that follow, to dog, one oh. that attacks. Oh, yes. Your whole character changed. Whole character. From sheep that follow the truth. To dog that now attacks the truth. That's right. That's right. Eh? Amen. Oh, we'll take God, do you hear this? But it has happened unto them. It happened. According to the oh, true I proverb. Oh, I want to detail this. God knows. Amen. It has happened unto them according to the true proverb. To the true proverb. The dog, the dog is, turned is turned to his own vomit back again. Back to his, his own. His own vomit he again. He went back to his own filth. That's right. Again. And the sow. And the sow. That was washed. To, that the sow. Amen. The pig that was cleaned up to her wallowing in the mud went right back to the mud. Right back. And That's the right. Lord says it's better you never known what was right. That's because right. Because he knew when you go back, your animalistic behavior going to change. Oh, yeah. Because, because he said, my sheep my will sheep hear will. my voice. And he declared himself to be the good shepherd. Good shepherd. And dogs don't follow the shepherd. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Sheep follow the shepherd. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Are you listening to what I'm talking? But it has happened unto them according, according to, the to the true, true proverb. proverb. The, the dog has turned to his own vomit and again. God has gone back to his own vomit. And the sow that, that was washed to her wallowing in all right, the mud. Let's go back to the foundation of everything. Is yeah. everybody all right? Yeah. All right. 
I want you to get this detailed thing here. Back in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 15 and verse 11. Bottom it. Say not thou, it is through the Say Lord. Say not thou, it is through the Lord or it's because of the Lord. That I fell away. That I am no longer with him. For thou oughtest not to do the things that he hated. You should not have done the things that he hates. Say not thou. Don't you say. He, he has caused me to err. Don't say God made you do it. For he has no need of the sinful man. God ain't got no need for you being a sinner. The Lord hateth all abomination. Mm. The Lord hate what? The Lord hateth all abomination. The Lord hate all, all abomination. wrong. That's it. That's right. It ain't no little lie. Little white lie. And a little liar. You're just a liar. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, some folk, when they do something, they say, I made a mistake. A mistake is something you didn't meant to do. <laughs> you know, you're like a man. That's right. Have fornication with a woman. <laughs> he meant to have fornication with her. Anytime you made plans, you had a discussion, you hook up, you took time out, you're taking off your clothes, dropping your drawers, pulling your T-shirt. You ain't sitting there saying, wait a minute, I'm making a mistake. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm making a mistake. About to make a mistake. A mistake, a mistake is about to be made. Am I right, I said? That's right. I believe one scripture talks about that, doesn't it? Yeah. Now... The mistake that comes out of the fornication is her getting pregnant. You didn't mean to get her pregnant, but you mean to go in there. You meant to have fornication, but you didn't mean for no baby to come. That's the mistake. You mean to have fornication, but you didn't mean to get burnt. Right. Am I right? Do you hear what I'm telling you? That's right. Yeah, you meant to come in for an occasion, but you didn't mean to get gonorrhea. You get gonorrhea. Syphilis. That's right. You didn't mean to get the clap. You didn't mean that. That's the mistake. That's the mistake. You didn't mean to get the crabs. That's right. Like you scratching like a dog with fleas. That's right. That's right. That be make it plain. That's right. Anytime you and that girl hook up, you're kissing, you're smooching, you're rubbing, you're grinding, you're pumping, and you're just pulling each other stuff off. You dropping her blouse, she's dropping your jacket. You unhooking her bra, she ain't, you ain't getting it loose quick enough, so she just do it in one pop. Bing! She know exactly right that spot to hit it. Bing! Boom! That's right. Are you listening? That's right. There ain't no mistake, you liar. That's right. Sometimes it's the result of after, after where the mistake come in at. Yeah. Hear me good. Just call it for what it is. Call it for what it is. Come on, son. The Lord hateth all abomination. The Lord hate all wrong. And they that fear God love it not. Hmm. They that fear God love it not. Love it not. He himself made man from the beginning. No, they made man from the beginning. He himself made man from the beginning. One made man. One. From the beginning. And left him in the hand of his counsel. And left him in the hand of his counsel, meaning the Lord advised man. That's right. Uh -huh. If thou wilt to keep the commandments. If you keep God's commandments. And to perform acceptable faithfulness. And do what he said and be faithful to them. He has set fire and water before thee. He has set fire and water before thee. Before thee. He has comfort you and he has give you life. That's right. You know, water give you life. That's right. And fire comforts you. That's right. Come on, son. Stretch forth thy hand unto whether thou wilt. Yes. Before man is life and death. Mm -hmm. 
Stretch forth thine hand. Stretch forth thy hand unto whether thou wilt. To what you want. Bef Why? What, 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 what God got before us? Before man is life. Choose life. And death. Or death. That's right. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. You that are here and you that are watching around the world, the choice is yours. The choice is yours. That's right. You can keep partying and dancing. That's right. Lying and smoking and gambling. Yeah. And then go to the church on Saturday and Sunday just to feel good. Partying and drinking and shooting pool. And then go to the mosque. Allah, the what fuck? Allah, the what fuck? Allah, the what fuck? Allah, the what fuck? That's right. Go to the synagogue yeah. and read the Torah. Read the Torah. Mm -hmm. Talk about Moses or Musa. That's right. But what's before the world? Before man is life and death. You can be any religion you want to be, but I'm telling you right now, Go ahead, God man. got two choices. That's right. In front of you. That's right. And he ain't forcing you to choose him. Stretch forth thy hand. Stretch forth thy hand. What you mean? Pick what you want. Unto whether thou wilt. If you choose death, you choose sin. That's right. right. Because the wages of sin is what? Death. Yeah. And whenever you choose to be a sinner, you're choosing to be damned. That's right. You're choosing to be lost. To be lost. You're choosing to be utterly destroyed. That's right. That's right. God says he's married to the backslider. Oh, That's yes. Right. You backsliders, come on back to God That's and it. get off the dance floor out there acting like a fool. That's it. Living together, not married. That's running right. through men like you in a chain game. Amen. And you men running through women like you's a regular pimp. Oh, yeah. Robbing and stealing and hopping around from church to church. That's right. You're going to remember That's this right. voice when you stand before God oh, yeah. that you refuse to obey. Oh, yes. You're going to remember. You That's can right. hate me much as you want, but your hate won't be so great that you're going to dodge God. No. What he said, stretch forth thy hand unto whether thou wilt, before man is life and death. What else? And whether him like it shall be given him. Yes. For the wisdom of the Lord is great. What? For the wisdom of the Lord is great. I advise you that are here, you that are watching and listening, Amen. choose God's choose wisdom God. over your simple minded lust. That's right. That's right. When you lean to what you want, you always get in trouble, don't you? Oh, yeah. When you lean to how you think, you got to end up repenting for that. <laughs> That's right. That's why the advice of God to the apostle says, let this mind be in you. Amen. Yeah, your mind is no good. Your no mind good. is weak, foolish. That's think right. a bunch of folly. That's right. How much? For some people, all the time. All the time. They think of foolishness more than they think of God. That's right. And every piece of judgment they have, none of it That's right. is from the word of God. They judge it from their own personal feelings and their own weak heart. That's right. Give me the foundation. Oh, yes. Or the foundation can no man and lay that is than laid. that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. You backsliders, come on back to God now. That's it. You that have never obeyed God and served him, it's time for you to come to God. That's right. You've been out there like a fool, like a you fool. and your mama. Oh, yeah. Mama out there trying to keep up with her young daughter. Out there dancing and now need a bottle rubbing alcohol to massage her feet and her <laughs> hips. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hey, Amen. Here she is, 80 years old and trying to wear a skeleto. <laughs> That's right. Bad back, bad instep, bad toes. Bad toes. Hey man, got that one big vein around her ankle and trying to hold that vein hostage with the ankle chain. <laughs> That's right. Cutting off her blood circulation, making fluid build up all in her thighs. <laughs> That's right. Hey! That's right. Do you hear what I'm telling you? For the wisdom of the Lord is great. You young girls out here ahead, allowing brother. yourself to be passed around like little puppies in a dog pound. Go ahead, man. Preach it. Preach it. You young men with your pants hanging down Preach like it. you making neighborhood booty calls. Mm. Amen. You go to church like this. That's true. 
You're going to stand before God. Amen. You're going to remember there's a God that made you. Oh, yeah. And he gave the reason why he made you. Isaiah he chapter said, I made you for my glory. For my glory. And any time God said, I made you for my glory, mm -hmm. that means he created you that your entire lifestyle That's right. will give him pleasure. That's right. And you want to know what pleases God? Jesus. Obeying him. Oh, yeah. God didn't give you mouth to smoke. No. You know, as a child, I used to wonder why would people smoke and then run out the house when it's on fire. <laughs> I used to wonder about that. In my mind, if you love smoke so much and your house is burning, which is giving you all the smoke you want, just go in and breathe it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Look at you. Drink until your liver turned colors. Your liver, cirrhosis of the liver until yeah. the white of your eyes disappear. Oh, yeah. Now your eyes is all yellow and you're only 20 looking like you're 80. That's right. Fingertips all burnt from smoking joint down to the roach. Yeah. Got your fingers in your mouth with the little roach on the tip of your finger. That's right. The whole thing. Thing. Your lips is wrapped around it like a tire. Amen. Look like you're kissing your fingers. <laughs> That's right. And what they can't smoke, they eat it. They eat. Lord have mercy. God didn't make you for that. No, no. Woman, God ain't make you to be a multiple sperm bank. That's right. For every two-legged neighborhood dog. Yeah. Yes. God ain't made you for that. No, no. No. Hear me good. Isaiah chapter 43 and about verse 6. That's what? I will say to the north, give up. God is talking. That's right. Hallelujah. God declared, give up. And to the south, and to the south, keep not back. Don't you stay back. Bring my sons from far. Bring my sons from and far. My and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Daughters from the ends of the earth. Even, even everyone, everyone that is called by that's my name. Called by my name. For I have created him for my glory. Why did God make you? I have created him for my glory. Look at you. That's right. You young girls out here with shorts and hot pants, love it to that's show right. your body parts because you love. When a young boys compliment your thighs and compliment your behind, yeah. hanging out your shorts, you love it. Love it. That's right. When a man old enough to be your granddaddy swarm around you like a buzzard through a carcass. That's right. Love it when they throw you I a few it. dollars yeah. so you can come inside of his car and play tricks off of kids. Mm. Am I right? Go ahead. Love it. Love it. Mm. Did you hear this? For I have created him for my glory. Why did God make the human race? I have created him for my glory. You viewers, mm. you get mad at me all you want, but you don't find a preacher on social media telling you like the truth of God is. No. You can't find one. No. Nope. These old money lovers that play with your soul. That's right. The word of God is the book of judgment. That's right. You're going to pay a penalty not listening to God. That's right. Hmm? For I have created him for my glory. Choose God over your boyfriend. Oh, yes. Choose God over your girlfriend. That's right. Choose God over those over-the-counter drugs. That's right. And liquor and gambling and partying. That's it. Gone home with about 15 men in one night who spike your drink and run the train on you. Go ahead. And then drive you somewhere and dump you out the car like trash and you wake up and don't know your own name. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. Holiness puts self-dignity back in you. That's right. That's right. Make you respect yourself in a manner that you never did before. Go ahead. Make you love yourself. Go ahead, man. And when you understand what love is, you will love yourself so much, you won't be begging, looking for it in the wrong places. That's right. Preach it, man. 
you out here looking for love and you don't love yourself. That's right. Then you will call anything love. Yeah. I remember some years ago I was having a marriage council session and a fellow I was talking to was almost 50 and about dumb as eight bricks. <laughs> I asked him a question. It wasn't a deep question. It was very surface and very shallow. I asked him, I said, what is love? His face got so bent and curled, he looked, he looked around. My office was only but yay big. He looked up, I looked up. He looked down, I looked down. He said, what, what, what is love? He said, love is sex. Lord, Lord, Lord. I asked him, how old are you? You said 45. I said, you five years from 50. Mm. And you think love is sex? He said, yeah. I said, so, mm. if you pick up a whore and have sex with her, mm. she's showing love? He said, yeah. Mm. I said, can a woman love you and not have sex? You know what he said to me? How can that be? My Lord, my Lord. How can that be? How can that be? You know, the world need teaching. Yeah. Because you know how many people associate sex with love. My love. And when you're naive and don't understand the Bible, you think when you give that man your body, you gave him love. Right. No, you didn't. You gave him sex. That's it. That's all you did. Hear that's me, right. hear me, hear me, hear me good now. That's, that's right. I want this to sink in your ears real good for you that think you're so loving. <laughs> you can never open your legs in love. No. You can never open your legs, but open your mind to love. That's right. That's right. What about if that woman have a stroke and can't live with her husband? Yeah. Then what? Then oh, she don't love me no more. That's right. You know, I, there's not enough names in the dictionary for me to call people. <laughs> My God, when I think of their ignorance, that's why so many young girls today are pregnant because somebody who was a street vet. That's right. A street veteran knew she was too naive and green. That's right. Know what love was. Love was. So he spent a couple of dollars on a first to make her believe he's interested yeah then he told her everything she wanted to hear and everything she never heard right in other words he made her feel like something that's right baby i love you you know well, i never saw nothing like you baby you do something good to me yeah and uh, a woman ain't never made me feel like you do who taught you how to do that just praising her Praise. and she just <laughs> Ain't nobody show. <laughs> That's right. Order in the church. That's right. Tell you all those nice things, making a sucker out sucker of you. Sucker out of you. Amen. And they tell you, baby, if you love me, you'll give me a baby. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know. Don't you worry about that, baby. Don't you worry about that. You ain't got to know. I'm your sugar right. daddy. That's right. You, you will take care of it? Oh, yeah, I take care of it. Mm -hmm. You have the baby, he's gone. He's gone. In oh, other man. words, you're another number. That's right. Because he got a whole tribe. Yeah. That's right. Hear the old man and learn. Learn. God's way Learn. is the best way. Oh, yes. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. God's way That's right. is the best way. That's right. They say over social media that I'm too graphic. Hmm. <laughs> they don't say it about rappers when they're singing. No, they don't. No, they won't. The same ones that complain about me, they watch movies that cuss all in their house. Not right. one said that the movie is too graphic. No. In fact, if they see rated R, they, they're more eager to watch it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. 
They don't want the people to wake up. They want them to be blind, deaf, oh, yeah. and dumb, and that. full of stupidity and ignorance. That's right. Go back to the foundation so I can knock off. Back in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 15 and verse 11. What is it? Say not thou, it is through the Lord that I fell away. Yes. For thou oughtest not to do the things that he hateth. Yes. Say not thou, he hath caused me to err. Uh -huh. For he hath no need of the sinful man. Yes, so sinner. That's it. You heard the Lord say about you, sinner? He hath no need of the sinful man. You stay in your sins, God don't need you. Don't, don't While you out there acting like a fool, he don't need you. That's right. God wants you to change. That's it. So he can get some use out of you. That's right. That's right. As long as you out there, sinner, God don't need you. No. He yeah. has no need he of the sinful no man. He has no need of the sinful man. That's written. That's written. Why? Because he knows the sinful man ain't going to obey him. That's right. Hear this. The Lord hateth all abomination. He hate all sin. And they that fear God love it not. They that fear God won't love it. He himself made man from the beginning. Who I mean he made man? He, he himself. Himself. Made man from the beginning. One creator that made man. And left him in the hand of left his counsel. Left him at the hands of his advice. If thou wilt to keep the commandments and to perform acceptable faithfulness. Yes. He has set fire and water before thee. And stretch forth thy hand unto whether thou wilt. Yes. Before man is life and death. That's what's before you then, that's what's before you now. And whether him like it shall be given him. Uh -huh. For the wisdom of the Lord is great. The wisdom of God is great. And he is mighty in power. He. He. Not them he. or they, you multiple God infidels. And he. He is mighty in power. He's mighty in power. And beholdeth all things. And he'll see everything. And his eyes are upon them that fear him. Ah, uh, God eyes. That's right. God's mercy. God's mercy. Is upon those. That fear him. That fear him. And he knoweth every work of man. Every work. I told you you can't hide. That's right. Repent of your sins. That's it. Repent. Be sorry about being a fool so long. So long. Dancing and acting like a fool and partying. That's Friday right. night, Sunday, sun, Saturday night, Sunday That's night. Sunday. You parents that allow your daughter's boyfriend to spend a night over your house. How did you get so hell bound ignorant That's right. as parents? That's right. Some parents have sat in my office and told me, well, Pastor Jenny, you behind the times. Lord have mercy. And they're the same age as I am, <laughs> telling me I'm behind the times. My oh, Lord. He said, they tell me this a modern day. There's nothing wrong with my daughter, uh, boyfriend, spend the night. My Lord. Let her have company overnight. Oh, you man. parents, you're so full of hell. That's right. You carry and read the Bible in vain. Yeah. You go to church in vain. In vain. Repent of your sins. Repent. Be sorry about being a sinner. That's it. Who? You. That's it. And be baptized. Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. God wants you to be convicted in your heart. That's it. Be sorry about being so wicked and so devilish mean and of the devil. That's right. And contrary to God's purpose and God's standard. That's right. And when you get a person that got a repentant heart, ain't got to fight with you being baptized. No. You'll come along because you understand you're wise enough to choose life, choose life. over death. That's right. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord promised. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. you with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Anybody want to be right today on Bible order? And don't want to burn in an everlasting hell that the Lord prepared for the wicked. For the wicked. You want to be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet today. Pineapple. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. If there's any backsliders here, that want to come back to God. Yeah. The Bible said, if any is overtaken in the fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one. And the spirit of meekness considering thyself, that thou also be tempted.